I could only sleep two to four hours without horrible headache. I couldn't turn my head to the right at all. I couldn't look down. I couldn't sit for more than a couple minutes without having to get up and walk because of pain. Sixty or seventy doctors. It's been bad for thirty years. I couldn't look down to read. I had to hold the book up, and of course that makes your arms tired. I couldn't sit down for more than a couple minutes, so I had to stay on my feet all day long. And then I had to lay down at night, and I could go to sleep for maybe two to four hours and wake up with an excruciating headache. I'd have to get up. Thankfully, she had been seen by Dr. Gold, who specializes in rehabilitation medicine and pain medicine. And he identified that she might have a variation of what we call notalgia paresthetica, which is a problem with the nerves in the upper part of the back that travel to the skin and the muscle. They're strictly sensory nerves. She had great relief of her pain. It was the first time she said in years that she had been without any pain. And so we said, let's go to the operating room and take care of these nerves that are causing the problems. The operation took about two hours. We were able to find a number of different nerves which were causing her problems, and we were able to remove those. She knew in advance that some degree of numbness in those areas was going to be the trade-off for getting rid of the pain. It was a trade that she was happy to make. I sleep at least seven hours during the night. I can turn my head to the right. I can sit down. I can read, which I loved reading before. And, and now I can read a whole book at one time. It's a miracle. It's one of the great joys of peripheral nerve surgery that we can offer patients hope again in situations where they feel like they have none. I am just elated because this went on for 30 years and I finally, finally got relief.